Hello and welcome, I am Arumba, thank you for joining me, let's play some European Resource 4, it's the Russia patch, and uh, what, what more could we do, aside from not playing Russia at all? Uh, let's, let's do the big blue blob, I think it's time to, uh, to give this one another shot. Uh, the last couple times I tried it, I swear the game was out to get me, this is a long time ago of course, things like, uh, Regency Councils and BS Castilian wedding events firing while I was about to finish my war against Saragon, that kind of stuff, anyway, whatever, it doesn't matter. So, uh, anyway, <clears throat> brand new start. Obviously, the people that hate us would include England, Burgundy, and Austria, no surprise there. Fortunately, Castile is, uh, friendly to start with, so we'll pick up a quick alliance with them, so we can hopefully use that against Aragon, who is also friendly but has rivaled Castile. Maybe, before the Iberian Wedding fires, we can use Castile against Aragon to take a little bit of land on there. Who knows? We'll see. If you're unfamiliar, I don't know how you could be, but you are unfamiliar, then, uh, the situation with, um, the Big Blue Blob is that we're supposed to get 100 land provinces in the continent of Europe before the year 1500. Owned and cored, I believe. So, could take the mission to drive England from France. Seems unlikely to, uh, to succeed very easily. I'm thinking... I'm thinking I'm gonna try maybe a little bit different than before. I'm gonna build some heavies right at the game start and try for naval superiority over the English so that when we do go to war with them, because we will, um, Maybe we can actually get on through onto the island and take over some of this region up here. If we were to do that, then this land over here is very low development and easy to take. Low aggressive expansion because it's far away from the rest of the Europeans. Could be good. Outside of that, um, Brittany. No one really cares about Brittany, but the development's rather high for most of their provinces. We're going to want to try to keep the, the overall development of our conquests pretty low. So, let's see. We want to go into the development map mode. And then look there, yeah. Try to avoid most of the higher development stuff. Now, <laughs> the AI quite often will, um, for, for whatever reason, end up with Navara in a as a vassal underneath them. I um, wonder if we could snake that as well. It's only seven development, but hey, a province is a province. I could fabricate on them. It's a chance. It's a chance. Why not? Let's see what we can do there. Let's also start fabricating on Aragon, and let's start fabricating on Burgundy, I think. Let's set our rivals. We'll go with uh, probably Aragon. We'll also go with a rivalry with Burgundy and England. And yeah, let's see how Austria's feeling toward us these days. They are hostile. Okay, so our rivals include Aragon. Sorry, uh, yes, Burgundy and Austria. Okay, that's fine. Emperor being rivaled against me is not going to really matter too much, I don't think. Now, I don't know if diving directly into a war with England is going to be the best course or if I should just wait for the heavies. Speed is obviously very important, but I think it's probably more important to just take good wars. So Castile's entered on alliance with us, England has allied with Kildare, and the Papal State has allied with Austria. None of these things really particularly matter to me. Austria's allied the Platinate. I highly doubt, with us having him rivaled, that uh, he's going to consider mothballing any of his forts, but who knows, it could happen. Couldn't get these guys protecting trade in... somewhere. Very least, we have two heavies in here. Ah, uh, it's tempting to mothball, but I think that we will just keep them raised. In fact, we might get more out of this by privateering in England. Let's get our power projection up just a tiny bit. All right. I wonder if the cav makes sense to keep. Probably keep them, but then. Kind of consolidate them out over time. I don't really think that having Cav is going to be super important in this early, early, early stage of the game with wars and things. Alright, it's now officially been a month. We could declare war if we wanted to. We would be fighting against... Uh, oh, hey, Provence would join us in this war. I'm thinking we want to get a quick fabricated claim on Aragon and try to pull Castile into a war like that. Go ahead and build a spine work against Burgundy. I guess we're going to play on speed, whatever, until uh, something happens. Royal marriage offer from Provence. Well, there's a mission for that. Reclaim Maine. Uh, owned by France. We would get uh, inspiring victory. Okay, so it looks like our mission to reconquer the lands from England has gone away. This is actually, I think, a better reward, though. Maybe it's the same. I don't remember. Um, the medic reputation could be handy. Do I care particularly about the, Proven the Provencal relationship? We already have an alliance with them. It seems fine. Let's uh, let's take the mission first. 
I will have a rival. That's a good mission. Denmark. Well, Denmark is actually somebody that I wouldn't mind attacking. I'd like to get up into Scandinavian area. But, um, they have rivaled England. The problem is that they don't actually desire any of this land up here. So it's not like we can get them to join us in a war against England. Only defending. Seems like a, a silly thing to do. As far as advisors go, let's see. I don't think we need the national unrest. Don't really care too much. I guess production efficiency will have to make sense for now. Spy network construction's probably pretty good when we want to like, get a lot of early claims. Diplomatic reputation's a close second. I don't want to pay for a level 2 advisor, not right now. Alright, so that's that. We could at least try to make him like us. That seems reasonable. And then as far as estates go... I don't mind sacking a little bit of prestige and then perhaps demanding some trade efficiency, some, some contribution. Let's do that, and then we'll go for the uh, the early contribution. Uh, monarch points are going to be important, for sure. It's an emissary to the Pope, and we'll take this one. Oh, they're so close to being able to get above. Now that I get them pretty close. Can we get them to 70%, 75%, and then... Take support. I think we will hire this guy, and we'll take the two 150 points. And then here, let's raise their influence. Uh, the 40 tradition will have to do. It seems fine. We start with a good number of generals, but that doesn't really matter too much. We'll get uh, all the diets. Grant the generalship. And then we'll demand the 150 points. We could go harder, right? We could go for 200 points if we wanted to go all the way up and then revoke some territory, but it just seems a bit excessive to me. Alright, what kind of general did we get out of that? Not bad, we start off with these two. So we got a 1, 3, 2, 4. Nice, four siege pips. Nicolas des Coulons. Coulons. Alright, nice. Excellent. We could work with that. Please tell me I remember to put this in Iron Man mode. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, achievements are eligible. Sweet, cool. Let's do this. Alright, so, uh, Spymaster guy is going to help us out a little bit in getting a claim. We're getting 2.19 per month. Should be able to get a claim on Aragon pretty quick. Meanwhile, England's going to pick up a few uh, annoying things. Morocco apparently just raided me. The jerk. It happens. Hey, uh, Aragon, how about you, uh, you know, counter privateer that stuff a little bit, buddy? I need to get a an extra diplomat going on that soon. England has an alliance with Ulster. Picked up little tiny derps. That's actually could potentially be good. If I do get naval superiority, we could use them as a subject up here. We could take over their land and then really like release them and then use them to, to conquer some of the territory up that way. Okay. Disputed successor, succession. Ottomans immediately going to war with Albania. Is this new? I don't remember it alternating colors. That's cool. I like that. Go we'll speed four while we just wait on a claim. The surrender of Maine. Cede Fran Maine to France. In exchange for accepting the Treaty of Tours in 1440. 1444, the county of Maine was promised to the to France. In fact, however, this was taken this has taken quite some time to materialize. The arrival of Charles the Seventh himself on the scene seems to have made the holdup go away, however, and finally Maine is now in our hands. Really? England's just gonna give us a province? That that's that's awesome. Sweet. Thanks. That that'll make the reconquest war that much easier. Uh, and we all already have a core on it as well. Awesome. <laughs> that's great. Hey, game's, game's in my favor now. Alright, uh, let's check on autonomy and stuff for a bit if we can. Alright, so autonomy is fairly high here. One by you. A bit lower autonomy. Unrest is acceptably low, I think. Um, but worrying about these like autonomy type things might be a waste of time. I'm not sure. 
Uh, if there are provinces that are like right on the bottom end of the threshold, I kind of would like to revoke them. Like... Alright, so 4.9% and... Alright, can we like revoke this perhaps? Oh wait, that's right, you can't revoke stuff within the first year of the game start. I remember. I remember how to play this game. It's been a while. We're suffering attrition? Privateering? Doesn't really make much sense. And we are still about a year and a half away from having these three extra heavies. They're going to be rather expensive to maintain. But they're going to be worthwhile, I think. The French Navy does not start out nearly as strong as the English, but the English is not that much stronger. They only have like six heavies total. I started off with two. We'll have five soon. We knock out two rounds of three, and then I think we'll have naval superiority. I think delaying the first war a little bit is going to be a good way to go. Aragon has declared a subjugation war over Navarra. Hmm. Doesn't really matter. Actually, it does, because that means that Castile is defending him. Interesting. Well, this this could be bad. This could actually trigger the... Uh, what's it called? The... The Iberian Wedding rather quickly. Suppose the war is pretty low. I think I'm going to bring the navy around. Just in preparation for war with the Aragon. Claim fabricated by England. Okay, cool. We have enough to fabricate a claim as well. And he is at peace. I forget. I think, um... I can threaten war while he's at war. I can't threaten war if I'm at war. I wonder if I could just take a quick little threaten war for a province. Might be an easier way to go. Let's take a claim on Ruslan, just because it does have the fort. A little bit higher development, but we'll take that claim, come back from there, and see if he'll accept a threat. And if he does, I think that that's a pretty good start. He's not willing to do it because it's not a French score. Relative worth. Okay, so that's a no. All right, we'll split, bring everyone down, and let's wait and see if Castile can shatter the majority of the Aragonese army. And if so, we will swoop in and do some damage here. Now, technically, Navarra is the leader of that war, so Navarra is probably not going to do too much as far as giving Castile a bunch of land, so this could work out, assuming that the Iberian Wedding doesn't fire. He might be shattering all the way to Rusalon. I really want to attack him there. If we can get some military access through this region here, unlikely that uh, England will do it. Intervene in war. Interesting. I have the opportunity, I could intervene on, on the side of Aragon because Castile is on this side, my ally. Unlikely to uh, to succeed in a good way. It's not going to benefit me at all. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> if I were to do that, but I want to take advantage of this this uh, four siege leader right now. Why are we still suffering attrition? What is this? What is this? Why is this attrition indicator here? Confusing me greatly. Is this, is this a new feature? This is the currently monthly attrition. We're just suffering monthly attrition because of reasons, even though we're in home water. This must be a new feature. I don't know. Seems odd. All right, who hates Burgundy? We've got uh, Aragon hates them, as does Denmark. Denmark, why would you rival someone you can't get any claims on, sir? I'm not going to try to get sucked into this whole uh, Burgundian inheritance thing, but if it were to happen, I wouldn't object. I want to take a claim on, like, Picardy. Just so we have something that we can do there. We'll go and start improving relations with Denmark now. Try to get that mission accomplished. Alright, I wonder if there's any chance... If I were to get some more troops... If he would be more... Willing to accept my threat. We have room for another 12 regiments, and uh, I think we're going to want to train most of them. Keep the manpower recovery going.
And Provence has been excommunicated. Well, we're still his ally. I started the game off being allied to him. So I'm not going to really worry too much about that for the moment. So, fabricating on Navarra. It's not going to work out for me anymore because uh, we're not going to be at war with Castile as an ally at the same time. So I can't try to attack him myself. Unless Castile somehow decides, due to war exhaustion, that they don't want to defend him. I guess it's worth trying to go for it. We'll keep the claim. We'll keep going until we get to, to 20, get the claim. Stop off relations with uh, Castile a little bit. Could come in handy. And what we're looking for here is the Aragonese army to die. They're definitely picking off some Castilian troops. Look, he's working on the, uh, the capital, just trying to go straight for it. Alright, so we got our claim on Navarra. Let's end that. Navarra, look at Navarra, sieging stuff down like a boss. Steals that only one reason for acceptance. See, this this might be a good way to go, I think. It's only seven development, very easy to siege. He's probably got military access through No, he doesn't. He did not get military access through England. I'll find a way to get over there. If I had to. Bring my troops back around and use the transports. Got 200 days to go on the heavies. Gotta keep some cash in hand for uh, the second, the next round. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and queue up a couple more of the heavies now so that I don't forget. Uh, building this will exceed our force limit. Yes, I'm aware. Not enough sailors. I don't think I've ever had that happen to me ever in the history of the game. Not enough sailors. What is this nonsense? that whole throwing men overboard type thing. Steal at one reason still. We want to pay some ducats to hire and get some military power. I think so, yeah. I think that if we could get an early advantage in tech, that'll help out. We'll take that. I guess that perhaps is why we're suffering the attrition, is it? It's probably just a fixed attrition number. I don't know. I don't know. It bugs me. Alright, it's been another month, and Castile is no longer willing to defend. We will now join in as well. Sorry, Castile. I know that you're trying to be a good guy, but, uh, no. It'll be my land now. I don't want to do any sieges with, uh, cavalry, so we'll just attach some infantry. Get our four siege guy in charge. And we will cross directly down into there. I don't have military access herself, but it's okay. He is our ally, so actually, why don't we just ask for access? This would be a much faster way of getting into that province. So for a little bit of an attrition tick for no reason, it's fine. Doesn't matter. And we'll go with uh, half the troops on that province. And I think the Navaran army is... Eh, it's pretty small. Alright, I'm going to ignore that attrition tick as well. I don't really care. Actually, maybe with the maneuver guy we can get there in time. No, not quite. We'll arrive one day late. Alright, fine. I can't I can't do it. I can't do it, man. I can't suffer the attrition tick for no reason. Just goes against everything I believe in. <laughs> Alright, now we'll land there and Two of a kind. Okay, Queen Consort Marie has a point. We shall invite her acquaintance to stay. We can get a half-priced guy, another production efficiency guy, so administrative, or we can take 50 admin. I think we'll take 50 admin. I don't really want to pay the extra ducat for administrative points. Focusing on Diplo is where we started. I'm wondering if I want to stay that way or not. I think I do want to get to, to military tech 5, like as soon as possible. So I'm going to take... I'm going to do military focus for the first little bit. And the siege leader is going to do a good job, I think. Bonds has changed their capital. Alright, how goes your war? He's technically losing, and he's got troops over here. They are at... Ooh, nice disease outbreak. Negative 14%. Castile's at 21% chance to take the Aragonese capital. Okay. Um... 
I could actually join this war on his side if I vassalize Navarro. But that puts me... Interesting, it's a subjugation war. So he took a mission to vassalize. Trying to remember now, if I vassalize him myself, pay the Diplo points for it, will I then get a discount on vassalizing Aragon? Since that was the CB he declared with. And even if he, if I did, would it be enough? Unlikely, I think. I think I'd be better off declaring my own conquest war. Although he does have an alliance with... Uh, Hungary. I'm assuming he didn't call Hungary into that war. Yeah, no, he's just at war with Aragon. That might still actually be a better approach. Not deal with Hungary, not deal with having to go over there and sieging down any land. I don't want this land. I can't take this land. Might actually be able to take Laika. Based on coring distance. Good for colonial range. No, I wouldn't be allowed to take Laika. All right, well, let me know what your thoughts are. Um, it's, a, it's a different opening, uh, for sure. I'm still thinking that at some point soon we're going to want to be attacking uh, England once we have those extra heavies online, but uh, we'll see. All right, let me know what your thoughts are. I'll see you guys in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.